Welcome everyone, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. Crossing the line again, falling on my knees. Welcome everyone, this is going to be messages from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. I was actually getting ready to do the love reading for someone in my tribe. Um, I was very much guided towards Twin Flame Journey. Um, I do feel like I'm talking to someone who's probably in separation. I don't necessarily believe in separation. I believe that we are always one. We are always connected. Um, but I do feel like there is some times where you could feel a disconnect or you could feel like you're having trouble communicating um, with your twin soul. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with looking at the energy of both people. Um, so I want to start with Divine Feminine first. The energy of Divine Feminine. The message is for Divine Feminine. All right. Okay. So we have this second chakra, which is about shame and guilt. And we have attachment. And both of those are coming out in reverse. I feel like it's very possible there is a blockage in the sacral chakra, um, which is the second chakra, um, which is like where you do deal with things like shame, guilt, remorse, that type of thing. Um, it could give you some sort of like low confidence. And I feel like it's very possible that it's causing you to have some sort of unhealthy attachment to someone or something. So that's going to be divine feminine energy. Let's look at divine masculine energy. And the messages are very much for from divine masculine. So I'm definitely sensing right away um, that divine masculine is trying to tell divine feminine um, to be more confident. More confident in herself. Release any unhealthy attachments. Um, we have action and angel of love is coming out. So I am sensing... Um, like Divine Masculine, whoever this Divine Masculine is, um, has this urgency. There's this urgency with the action card. The action card talks about how this person um, is moving very quickly. It talks about the horses. There's a blur because they're moving so quickly. Um, so I definitely feel like there's an urgency on the Divine Masculine side. I did pick that up as I was getting ready to do the reading. It was like, no... This is what we have to do and we need to do it now. Um, and I do see that the Divine Masculine is upside right and Divine Feminine cards are coming um, in reverse. So that is kind of sticking out to me. All right, I want to use the regular right away to clarify just so we can get some really direct answers as to who is who. Let's look at Divine Feminine. Why is attachment in the Sacral Chakra in reverse? Um, we have Six of Wands coming out. Um, someone got noticed. It's normally a victory, but for some reason it's not. Um, it's very possible that like Divine Feminine feels like they're not being noticed. Maybe they feel like they're being ignored. Um, the Hierophant is coming out over here for Divine Masculine. This Taurus energy is sticking out strongly. Um, this is about balancing things out. So I do feel like Divine Masculine um, is trying to balance out some sort of situation. And I also want to say that the Hierophant is very much about bringing something from the 5D down to the 3D. Let's use the Heal Yourself reading cards next. And let's see what is the message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. What is so urgent? What needs to be balanced? And I feel like it's going to have something to do um, with some sort of victory on the Divine Feminine side. And it's something about your notoriety. <laughs> All right. So we have Discover Your Life's Purpose coming out. And Cycles is also coming out. Let's see what else. Is there anything else? Healing. All right. So the first card to come out is Discover Your Life's Purpose. Um, the next card that came out was Cycles. And the next card that was came out was Healing. I feel like this is three different messages. So we're going to clarify as if it's three different messages. So let's see what Divine Masculine has to say to Divine Feminine about discovering their life's purpose. Um, I feel like collectively Divine Feminine has been doing that. Um, very much learning about the healers that they are. Very much learning how their healing in turn can help someone else. Um, many Divine Feminines starting their own um, companies, starting their own healing companies, starting their own holistic companies. So let's see, what is Discover Life's Purpose? Discover your life's purpose. Message from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. 
Ten of Swords. Something has come to a completion. A difficulty has come to a completion. Knight of Wands. Again, action. Again, a message about action. So, Divine Feminines. One of the messages from the Divine Masculine is definitely about your purpose and definitely about taking some sort of action. You need to complete something that's painful. It's already completed. The Ten of Swords says it's already completed. There's no more room for any more swords. This is done. Whatever painful life lesson, life cycle you've went through, it's over. And it's time to find new passion and new excitement for your life's purpose. So very direct message from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Let's look at cycles. Why is cycles here? Um, we have Queen of Wands coming out. Queen of Wands is usually the person that you're reading for. Um, it can also be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But Queen of Wands is about your own confidence, your own confidence in your own spiritual abilities. Um, but you're, this is about confidence in a particular life cycle. It's like be confident that something's coming to an end or that something happened for a purpose. Seven of Pentacles, I'm getting that's what it is. Like be confident that something's happening for a reason. Seven of Pentacles is about planting seeds and needing to be patient. Patient for the time to harvest let's look at healing why is healing here what does divine masculine have to say to divine feminine about healing all right so the death card is coming out so scorpio energy super strongly um, very much a, a transformation. It's time for something to end so that something new can begin. Look at that. The Ace of Wands. Exactly what I said. It's time for something old to go away so that something new can come in. A new, passionate, exciting beginning. Um, I feel like it's time the healing is done. Both parties... Um, this, this divine masculine could be saying, um, that they are understanding like why they're in this healing, why you've went through this healing and they're ready to move forward. I'm also seeing the six of cups. The six of cups is about reunion. Um, it is about nostalgia. Someone could be thinking about someone. All right. So I think I'm going to pull a couple guidance cards from spirit to both divine masculine and divine feminine about the situation so guys some spirit decided we were going to do it this way um i'm definitely getting that um we will do a message um love reading message for someone in my tribe um we'll do one of those live all right, so improving health is telling me, um, I feel like it's the health of the both parties. It's not just like physical health. This is like spiritual health. Um, success is coming out. So I feel like you guys have went through something, um, maybe ended some sort of major life cycle that was very painful and very difficult, um, but you were successful. And you're ready. You're ready for this new beginning. This healing period, this healing time, I feel like is over. And that's definitely the message um, that Divine Masculine was also saying. So I feel like Spirit's telling you both that you're both ready. It's up to you. And look at this. The Cycles card again. I'm taking this one also. So the Cycles card says, We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. And then you also have perfect timing. Alright guys, I feel drawn to pull a Moonology Oracle. So let's see what spirit has to say next. I do feel like this is going to be for both divine masculine and divine feminine. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Believe in the impossible. I feel like something is definitely coming for whoever this is here. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. It's the full moon in Capricorn. And definitely pick that up throughout the whole thing. Starting out with the cycles in the Ten of Swords. Alright guys, I'm not sure who this message was for. So please let me know in the comments. I do believe I'm going to do another one. Um, I feel drawn to do Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. So I do believe I will do that next. I will try to get these posted tomorrow. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if the message resonates um, and I'm sending all of you abundant love and light on your journey.